Rosa and today's video is going to be the Christmas tag. I was tagged by my friend Brianna and I decided since it's really gloomy outside and I'm actually home alone, I decided why not have a cool Christmas tree in the background to make it all festive. So why don't we just roll into it and get started. So what's your favorite holiday movie? I have three favorite holiday movies. The first one is A Muppet's Christmas Carol. I know all the songs to it. I am like, what is happening from here? I am the expert at that movie. If you guys like that movie, give it a thumbs up. Second movie is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the claymation version, 1964, Burl, Burt Ives, Burl Ives, Burl Ives. Yes, that one is so good. I love it. I watch it every single year, and I think it's so much fun to watch it in the holidays, so I definitely love that one. And then my third one is something that Brie actually mentioned in her video, and I was like, oh my god, I completely forgot about this, and why is this not on my list anymore? Snowed in on ice. That thing was my favorite all through like teen, all through till I was like 16. I think I don't know why I stopped watching it all of a sudden, but like I watched it from like three years old all the way up. I watched both versions. I will link both versions down below if you guys are interested in seeing what that is. But basically, it's like an ice skating show. And I had all the famous guys back then. I had um, I don't remember who, but I really liked the Russian mom who was in there because she was an ice skater and. I loved watching her just like in general, like on ice spades or ice shows or ice skating competitions. She was really cool. So I will link it down below. It's called Snowden on Ice and I still have the VHS version of it and I love it. So let's move on to the next question. Next question is what is your favorite Christmas color? So I don't have one specific Christmas color. I have a Christmas pattern that I really like, which is silver and gold or, or gold and white and black. I really like that whole theme right now. Actually, all my present boxes are those colors because I love them very much and I just think it's a really pretty combination. Gold and white is actually what I have right now on my curtains here. I just love it so much. Also, burgundy, black, and champagne. Those are gonna be my wedding colors, let me just tell you. If I ever get married, I'm not on that road yet, but if I ever get married and I have a huge wedding, that's gonna be the colors. Number three, do you like to stay in PJs or dress up for Christmas? I like to stay in PJs because I am a homebody and I don't like going out. I go out once in a while and even with that I have anxiety because I have to get an Uber and I have to figure everything out. But it's fun to go out sometimes, it's just I'm really more into PJs and staying home and watching Christmas movies and drinking hot chocolate, you feel? Number four, if you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? Um, it'd be my brother, I like to, or actually maybe Maya, I don't think my brother would get that mad. I'd probably get Maya something, she's the youngest of the family, she's four, and I like to buy her things, because she's a girly girl and she loves Disney as much as I do, like, she has an Elsa dress, she has a Snow White dress now, which is beautiful. Um, her grandma got her, got it for her. Um, what else does she have? She has the new Cinderella dress. She has, I think her, and she has an Anna coronation dress. She has all the dresses, so, and she has almost all the dolls. I like to get her one Disney doll a year, so she can have the whole collection. That's little, she's literally my mini me. I talk to her about Disneyland all the time. So, yeah, I would probably get her something because she's the youngest of the family. Do you open your presents Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? I open them whenever Richard feels like opening them. I don't celebrate Christmas at my house. We celebrate New Year's at my house. Um, so for Christmas, we, I go over to Richard's house and we'll eat. Last year we did Christmas Eve, the year before we did Christmas Day. So it really depends on how we feel and what we want to do. So, yeah. Number six, have you ever built a gingerbread house? I probably did when I was in elementary school, but not recently. Um, I just want everyone to be happy during the Christmas holiday. My personal wish would be for me to relax a little bit and take more time for myself because I don't because I'm in school and I'm freaking out. But the next two weeks I'm out of school so I'm going to be concentrating on me. And that is what I wish that everyone would do. Just concentrate a little bit more on yourself, making yourself a little bit more happy, trying to figure out what you need in your life to make you happy. And that is my Christmas wish for all of you guys. My favorite Christmas smell is probably the smell of baking and peppermint. I bake every year during the Christmas time because I like to make something for Richard's family. This year I'm gonna be making those scones from Domestic Geek, so I'm really excited. By the way, if you guys don't watch Domestic Geek, please do. Her recipes are like on point and they look super easy to make, so we'll see. I'm gonna be making her scones this year, so we'll see how that works. Usually I'll make peppermint brownies or pomegranate, chocolate pomegranate seeds, but this year it's gonna be the scones. Favorite Christmas meal slash treat? I just 
love food in general, so whatever anybody makes, I'll eat it. That's probably my favorite thing. My favorite thing would probably be the pies and the cakes and the chocolate. What is your favorite holiday drink? So I really like the peppermint hot chocolate with two pumps of raspberry syrup from Starbucks. I really like that. Um, I want to learn how to make drinking chocolate. I'm, I've never tasted drinking chocolate with rum, but I feel like that would be really good. But I really like Bailey's too for the holidays. I'm a big fan of Bailey's, so yeah, I really like that. Next question is, what are your favorite, well, sorry, what are you doing for Christmas this year? This year I'm just gonna be hanging out with the boyfriend and we're going to be chilling at his place. I'm, Christmas holiday time is really a hectic time for me. Um, not because I made it that, uh, you know, because it's hectic, but actually my cousin is getting married, so um, she gets married January 2nd, so we're all preparing for this wedding, and I think I'm gonna be singing for the wedding, so I've been kind of like hectically practicing, so probably Christmas, I might end up just going home and practicing and stuff, but um, we're gonna be hanging out definitely Christmas and having Christmas dinner and our Christmas, like, lunch dinner? like early dinner or something like that, because his family does that, so. That's what I'm gonna be doing for Christmas. What is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is Silver and Gold by Burl Ives. Every year, this question is, what's your least favorite Christmas song? I really just don't like Jingle Bells. I'm not a fan of the Jingle Bells. I just feel like, what's the weirdest gift you ever received? My weirdest gift I ever received was toilet paper from my family, but there's a backstory to it. So basically, I, when I was little, I loved playing with toilet paper. Like, I would make, I would pretend that they were fish in the sea, and I would just like, I don't know, I'd make them into mermaids and stuff, because I was really into Little Mermaid, and it's not like I didn't have toys or anything, but like, I really love the simple life, and I just wanted to play with toilet paper. So my grandma, my mom, and my aunt all got me toilet paper rolls when I was like 10 for Christmas. And I mean, they got me something else as well, but like, that was the weirdest thing, because I was just like, guys, like, I'm embarrassed. You name all of Santa's reindeer, so there's Prancer, and Dancer, and Dasher, and Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen, and Rudolph. I got that, you know I got that. 16, have you ever made a snowman? No, I have not, but I have seen snow once. I just didn't have time to play in it. Are you on the nice list or the naughty list? Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. It depends on the person. <laughs> depends on who you ask, if I'm on the naughty list or the nice list. I think I'm on the nice list, but I mean, I don't believe that. <laughs> so, like, I think I'm in the maybe list. If there's a maybe list that moved towards nice, but not like completely nice, and that would be my list. I'm on that, I'm not sure list. Just lash out if I'm so overwhelmed. So that could put me on the night list. But at the same time, like that's probably the only issue that I have is like, I lash out at people. So I mean, if that isn't an issue, then maybe I'm on the nice list, but pretty sure lashing out at people isn't the best thing. So I'm on that maybe list. Number 18, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts? I love giving gifts. Gifts, yeah, I love giving gifts um, a lot. It's my favorite thing to do. I love to give people things. Um, I gave you guys a bunch of stuff, by the way. That is going to be over soon. So if you guys haven't seen my I love you guys videos, go check it out because there might be a little present in there for my subscribers. Do you understand? <laughs> See, number 19, the most memorable holiday moment. My most memorable holiday moment um, would probably be my favorite moment was getting together with Rich, but that was like, like officially getting together with Rich was in November, that's a winter moment. But, um, Final question is, what is most important to you about Christmas? Probably my favorite, or my, the most important thing is for everyone to have a peaceful holiday season. Um, just have a good, be nice to everyone, have everyone nice to you, have a great holiday season, relax. It's a couple weeks long, I know for some people. And just take the time to think about yourself and really take the time to kind of work on yourself during the holiday season. That's what's most important to me personally during the holiday season is to be able to work on myself and to really see what's important in my life and what's really just not important in my life and something that I just have to calm down with. I don't know if that translated correctly through the camera. If it didn't, ask me down below what I meant and like that. But if it did translate, then I did a good job. 
But that was the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below by hitting this little button somewhere down here. Um, make sure to follow me on all of my social media links. I did just get a Snapchat, so I've been snapping away like a crazy person. Um, I want to do that kind of instead of vlogs. Now, I do have a few vlogs that are, are going to be coming up soon, too. So if you guys want to check out my vlog channel, I'll link it down below as well. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys.